Evolution is fond of using fancy sounding words designed to explain their faith myth of how man and the other two million known forms of life arrived here on earth. Their very words of terminology are often oxymoronic though. Let us just consider one such word and its uses by the evolutionist. It is the word selection. Evolutionists speak of natural selection and artificial selection. They define natural selection as a process in nature in which organisms possessing certain genotypic characteristics that make them better adjusted to an environment tend to survive, reproduce, increase in number or frequency, and therefore are able to transmit and perpetuate their essential genotypic qualities to succeeding generations. The problem is the oxymoronic use of the word selection. Selection is defined as the conscious process of making a choice between multiple options. Selection necessarily requires a choice and it necessarily requires some type of intelligence. By inserting the word natural, the evolutionist hopes to disguise this truth by asserting that this selection was random and non-purposed by any real intellectual process. In short, nothing can select something unless intelligence is involved. To select indicates a choice. Choice indicates a decision. Decision indicates intelligence. Now let us consider the evolutionary term artificial selection. Artificial selection is defined as the process by which humans breed animals and cultivate crops to ensure that future generations have specific desirable characteristics. So here is a conundrum question for the evolutionist. Man can artificially select certain traits using his intelligence, his cognitive resources, and his intelligently invented technologies to breed animals and cultivate crops, yet man can only create a relatively few changes within these animals and crops and only within a species or kind or population. In other words, dogs always turn out to be dogs and cats turn out to be cats and horses turn out to always be horses and flowers flowers and corn turns out to be corn etc before man with all of his intelligence and technology runs into genetic blocks that prevent him from going any further yet evolution can naturally without intelligence or technology select millions of traits and randomly without intelligence produce over two million intricately operating species of life so evolution without intelligence and technology is smarter than man with intelligence and technology mister evolutionist you really need to take your fairy tale back to the drawing board we who understand real science just aren't buying it.